Hey, Tetris Retro Achievements, what you got for me? There are two lines at once. Three, four, wow. Four twice, incredible. Eight times. Can you believe it? Get a high score. Get the high score. Get a high score. Get the high score. Clear many lines. Intentionally lose and then come back from death. Thank you. I suppose we should start by getting the uh, eight Tetrises in a row. I guess I shouldn't fool around because the RNG in this game is actually really bad. I'm gonna have to just manage it. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking Z pieces, man. What do you even do with three of these and four of these in a row? Is what I gotta work with. That's fine. I'm gonna throw this one too. I'm just gonna have to assume they're gonna throw five Z pieces at me in a row. I'm not allowed to make a single mistake with the Tetris lines here, so it's kind of killer for this shitty game. I'm just kidding. I love Tetris, but boy howdy, they could have done with some uh, modifications to the randomness here. Three in a row. <laughs> Did I use up my stick quota here? The, the bouncer. I only need eight. That's not really that many. Just need to not let them screw me over until then. Ugh. Let's fix that. How do I fix that? I think the way to fix it is probably to just accept that these lines are fucked. And start over from here. I wouldn't say I am when. In Really obnoxiously hard to sort out some of these pieces that are coming in. I gotta make a decision on this. Okay, I made the right decision. The bouncer. Fuck's sake, man. Fucking cube, get out of here. Are you serious? Not the Z. I think I'm getting rid of the hardest one first with this this stinky get rid of uh, eight Tetrises in a row basically achievement. If I can pull that off, that'd be nice. <sighs> I'm, I'm fucked. 
they, they're being so freaking mean here. Like, I just wanted a cube, damn. Where were you? Ugh, what the hell, man? It's so freaking awful. Jeez. Just the entire time, I never got anything I wanted. The bouncer. Somehow. Anyway. We got a lot of them, but I didn't get the last one on the list that I'm after. So I'm gonna have to start over, basically. I think. Let me find the one. Yeah, I need to do... Four lines of once eight times in a row. Still. I guess I should be grateful I have a preview at all. Ancient. I need to leave room for the many cubes that they're gonna throw at me here. The two. I can't believe they're giving that now. The only piece I can't use. I can do something with it though, I guess. Ugh, why? What, really? I can't believe how shitty it's being. Stop it. They're giving the exact wrong... There's only one piece each one of these times that wouldn't work, and it's this one, and that one, and this one, over and over again. Again, I don't have a place for that. I think this is uh, unfixable now. Like, I could have done something for a minute there, but they just won't quit. <laughs> like, just over and over. It's not one offense, it's 15 in a row. All right, fine, Tetris. We're gonna start here, I guess. I just have to give up half the screen now. I can't use this. I am here yet again. Hey, thank you. Just stop it in. What's up? Ah, they're not they're not gonna give it to me. Exactly the worst time it could do. I think there is, if you are an AI, an ability to do this every time. Like, if you know what piece is coming up that I can't see. Like, there's there's some manner of building that wouldn't get stuck no matter what they threw at me, more or less. Unless they truly went hardcore on, like, 15 Zs in a row, then you would even then get stuck. Happens to the AI eventually. But, um... I do need some luck here, I think. <laughs> Like I could, I can fix stupid problems like this. That are that's obviously not the piece I want, but you can do that and get it back in there. It just needs to not happen a hundred times in a row. I I can't have a place a cube. It's so annoying to get one, but there it is. I'm gonna have to repair. It's doable. I can fix this. I got the right pieces to fix it this time. No problem. <laughs> yeah, but I, I recognize this is gonna be the hard one in the pack. One of them is like beat level 19 or whatever, who cares? What a snooze, this is the one. I wanna get rid of it and the rest of these are gonna be free, probably. I always say that and then I get stumped, but we'll see, I guess. I just need the luck to hold out for just a little bit. 
I'm trying to figure out what the safest play is here. It's probably... Unfortunately, it's to ask for two sticks now. I maybe didn't want to do that. Oh well. It seems okay. Yeah, that's fine. I think I need three more. What do I do now? Uh. Should be close. Well, here's hoping we get another one of those soon. Uh. <laughs> achievement I think is complete now. We don't need any more Tetrises, right? Is that right? We got them all? Let me check. Let's see what we got in this. I haven't actually looked at what the other achievements are yet. Enter name and high score. Got that. Uh, I think. Oh, that's for B mode. There are 100 more lines. 125 lines is the upper end of clearing lines. And game A with 120,000 points. Okay, so 325 lines and then get that many points is what I'm after here. Use 50 of every piece should have happened by then, just naturally. I'll worry about the weird ones later. That's what we need for score. I need 120,000 points and 125 lines. Let's do that. Now that I can play normally, hopefully I'm just gonna win <laughs> for a while. I'm not super worried about anything here. You can just turn my brain off and win Tetris. Easy. Wasn't sure what the stream tonight, but I'm feeling kind of sick from, uh, I guess a dentist, I don't know. So I'm taking it easy with some baby game retro achievements. Tetris is, I don't know, if I'd call it a baby game, literally, it's just an easy game the for me, bouncer. it's on the list of, what one did I just get, I don't even know, a list of games that I can play without even thinking, and uh, I can beat most people. I need to clear quite a few lines yet. I think they want me to get the good ending uh, thing is what they're after here, probably. They didn't just pick an arbitrary number, I bet. I bet that, that is how you get the big rocket ship thing. I'm not sure. Um, that's a lot of points, though. I better start getting some Tetrises, because I'm not going to get that otherwise. So I still need to do that, I think, a little bit. I can't believe I was sleeping on this game for retro achievements anyway. Like, what? I haven't played this yet? Usually, when I'm playing against other people, it's in Tetris 99, and in that game, being aggressive is extremely all there is. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment, it's just pure offense. That's all that matters in that game. 
a lot of T spins over and over again. That's the ticket. Tetris 99 is still booming as far as I know. I haven't played it in a while. Uh, so the score is going to shoot up very fast. It's multiplied by the level and the number of uh, lines that you clear at once. So Tetrises are huge, but they become enormous as you get to like level 10 plus. So I'm not really at the score yet, but it's going to start getting there because that's worth 10,000 points already. And I'm not really bothered too much by the speed up here. So level 9 not really a problem. Once it gets to the high teens, it becomes a problem for me. Right now, it's actually kind of convenient. <laughs> I don't have to tap as much. If I get too high on the field, it will get me, though. I have to be careful about that. Bouncer. It might start being a little bit dangerous to go for Tetris because... I might get stuck trying to get one and die. I do need to do a couple points though, because they really are the only realistic way to get the score that I'm looking for here, I think. Uh, fast. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> but suck the dog the shot on this and have to restart, because it's a lot of, a lot of grinding points. But I'll just play more Tetris, that's fine. Ugh. Like this. Okay, that's good. The bouncer. I'm pretty close to the score even without the Tetrises because I just haven't been given an opportunity really to get one in a while. Oh fuck. The cube came out a second before I saw it. I could have used it. It would have been nice. Now we're getting fast. I don't like that. I wish I didn't have to use the stick there. Really jammed it up. Almost fixed it. Okay, there's my Tetris waiting to be had, and it's gonna set me over the line. I think I got all the achievements now that they're after for this. For A mode, I'm not sure 100% about that, but yeah. Uh, the only other one I think is a weird one. I'm not sure exactly what it means, but it wants me to go up to like the top line and then come oh, back down. Sir. Which I don't know if I can easily do at this speed. Maybe, maybe speed isn't a requirement for it. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go until I actually die, just to get as much as I can here. <laughs> so whatever. slow. I should have tapped. I was... I get lazy in this game. One of the things it does that's mean is it doesn't auto-scroll when you hold left as fast as when you tap. So it's actually a really hard game to be as good as those masters are at it compared to modern Tetris. They do a rolling tap that would put us to shame on our mashing on, like, Mario Party. 
it's disgusting, and I, I don't want to try to do it. It'll hurt my hands too much. I'm too old to be doing the rolling NES tab. It's no good. I don't even have the controller for it. How about when I hold right? It just goes right at max speed. <laughs> All right, it's getting close to death time here. Ah, fuck. I needed to clear three lines at 19, and I almost had it. Then I got stuck. The Bouncer. Yeah, so in Tetris 99, if you're being attacked by two people or more, you're pretty much immortal. Because if you hit them, you knock all your lines away. Never get hit. Ever. What is this? Some kind of knockoff can dress. Castle level starting level one. Oh, they're talking about B mode, that's what that is. Uh how do I get I always forget. How do I get level 19 from the start? Because that's a thing. This, this is just like hold a button. Maybe if I change the music, it'll let me do it. Pretty sure there's a way. I thought it was hold A and press start, but that's not working. That goes. Now we're good. All I gotta do is get three lines. That shouldn't be hard, but uh, it is very fast. It's too fast to uh, do it the way I want to do it. I need to just not try to bend the L block to the edge. It's an unfortunate situation. <laughs> I can't, I can't mash fast enough to satisfy it. I'm almost there, but I'm just not fast. It, like a different player could mash that fast, but I'm just not making it. There, I made it this time. Bouncer. That's all they wanted for this, I think. Like, they don't care about level 19 beyond that. I'm dead anyway. This is about where I die, usually. Level 19, level 18. Never really make it past 20. Let me take a look at the weird one at the end here. What does this say? It says... Level 9 or higher, come back from the cusp of defeat. Okay. Let's make it... interesting. <laughs> okay, that's a little too interesting. Uh, I don't know what they mean by that. Probably they mean the music starting up like that, right? I'm gonna build all the way up to the top and see if that's good enough for this. I don't... You don't really have recovery 
things in this game like you do in modern. So, I assume it's just get to the top and turn it back down. Destroy everything. Curses. Making me do that. The bouncer. Yeah, that's all they wanted. That's already done. That's the freest achievement in gaming. <laughs> that was so easy. Like, that's a normal thing to do in Tetris, is build high and get like four Tetrises in a row for fun. It's a stupid thing to do, but it's a normal thing to do. I think A mode is complete. No, like, completely done. I don't think there's anything left in A mode at all. But I might be wrong. Uh, it's talking about B mode, which is clear 20 lines or whatever at various difficulties. I'm going to do it on the highest difficulty and probably without any trouble and see if it gives me all the rest or not. If it does, we'll be done in like 10 seconds. But if if not, then uh, got some work to do. Got some grinding. Alright, so this is it, and then there's height also to try and get it on you, uh, up top, like five lines up. According to NES, I am a Tetris Grandmaster. <laughs> this is Master at least. Oh man, five height is mean, actually. I thought it was lower than that. Gotta do some good moves to get started, just like a Dr. Mario. <laughs> I'm sure that this is an achievement, though, so let's get it. Once I get it lower, I'll be safe. Because, um... 25 lines is only gonna send me to level 11, which is perfectly manageable the in the lower bouncer. half. I just gotta get past the sticky start here, which is a random situation for pieces and for layout, like the, the garbage that's on the field is random too. So the it could bouncer. be better or worse sometimes, just by luck. Not dramatically, it's the same height, but it's super variable because of that. This is an okay place to be. I'd say this is clear, unless I screw up big time. Can't imagine screwing up that bad at this point. Okay, this is the hardest thing in B mode. The bouncer. Is there an achievement for 18 and 3? 
I guess I should check. They might actually want that action. This is the hardest normal B mode thing, but there's a lot of achievements missing still, so they must actually want me to go through the whole list like that. Yep, unfortunately they do. Here are five lines in game type A without turning a piece. I didn't see that one. That's another weird one. I'll save that for last. B type 18 and 3. Not 19, 18 and 3. I'm gonna have to dig quite a bit. This is gonna be the hard one, yeah. This is the hardest one in the set. Because 18 is so rude. Just a little too fast. I almost had control of it there. But I'm gonna need to get this lower quickly. more time before it started falling. If I could just move over one more space than I get, I'd be in business. Man, I never can make it. It sucks. Like, I'm not even making a mistake. I'm just not tapping fast enough. Ah, I hate, I hate it. I need it to be lower so that I can make up for the fact that I'm slow on that. Oh, that's not good. I missed, I missed. <sighs> that sucks. I'm gonna have to really learn how to mash faster for this, unfortunately. Didn't want to have to do any of that. I'm surprised this one's in here, honestly. Seems like it would be in a different set. No way. I'm dead. I really need some really good luck at the start, and I need to play perfectly for like 20 lines. I gotta get this slower. Still, it's too damn high. It's so freaking hard to get over to the left side. I think what I need is for the first piece to be on the left so that there's no wall there so they don't have to push that hard. Because I keep getting stuck with this field on the left or right side and I don't have time to get there. That sucks, man. <laughs> it's not fair. Fuck off. Ugh. I can only get like four. If I can get started, that's all I need. But damn, I can't even get started. Oh, man. This one's a bit physically restrictive. Uh, why three? I, honestly, there shouldn't be any height at all. Fuck. Oh man. I don't know that I can do this one, like for real, physically. It wants too much mashing for too long with 25 lines. I'm gonna have to get really lucky to get it to the point where I can have a chance. I didn't feel like I could even move that one. Oh, come on. It feels bad to know where you want to put it but not be able to reach it. 
This is an uncommon problem for me in Tetris. Usually the speed does not bother me at all. But this is pretty close to where I die every time. I handled uh, 18 just a minute ago on A mode, but I was at the bottom. I could use turbo. I've not had to do that before yet. I think that's legal in these, I'm not sure. It's an easy solution. I will L and R button turbo left and right all the way. That's almost the only way I'll be able to do this unless I get lucky or really good at something that I don't think I can physically do. Oh, that reminds me, I wanted to make sure. Okay, hardcore mode is on. I didn't actually check today. But I had to restart. Uh, <laughs> it, I turned it too early. I think that's my problem there. Like, it's, it's bad enough, but then when I turn it early, I make it hit sooner. I need to rotate it after I get in position and not before. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bind those. I guess. <laughs> That's a little too fast. See how oh, you're you're capable of moving it that fast. Theoretically. Ow. I needed to rotate it and roll it over there. I don't like that. It's gonna be really hard to manipulate turbo into position like that. Ugh. Ow, I screwed up. This is the first time I feel like I needed to do this on any uh, retro achievement. They just they just picked too many settings. They needed to back down like one number or two. Height two or seventeen would be a little better. Fifteen's probably where they really should have stuck it though. <laughs> like other than that, any higher than that, it gets a little outrageous. Oops, is uh. Wrong file. Well, you got a hardware limitation too. That only really works with the nest sticks. As far as I know. Mine are all broken. <laughs> They're all old. I was doing okay. I just couldn't get it to go down anymore. Wrong pieces for the job. For getting it to actually go down, I just had to keep on playing that well the whole time because I couldn't reduce the field any. If I can get the field to the bottom, I don't need turbo anymore. I'll be alright.
Ah, fuck. Too much. Ugh. They're good. Man. Ugh. I don't like this one. Oh, piss. Almost had something. I might be here for a while, but I will get this. I had a, a run that felt like it could do it earlier with its 17 lines left. That just needed another clear or two to, like, the lower it gets, the easier it will be, obviously, so. Just get me into that zone. And I don't have to play so flawless the whole time. Yeah, there's usually a set for like speedrunners, and that's where this belongs, honestly. People who can survive 18 are uncommon. <laughs> and it definitely requires some finesse. Just uh, it's just too many settings. It's just too high up. This game is like famously mean about giving you the pieces you need and stuff, right? So like, asking for precision is a lot. That's why I did the other achievements first because they were asking for precision. <laughs> Fuck's sake, this is what I mean. Like, look at this crap. I went through the entire library twice before they gave me a stick. <sighs> Even with turbo, it wouldn't move. I don't know why it gets hung up, but... No. It's okay still, but that sucked. It's not what I wanted. No, I'm dead now. I had it. <laughs> I was doing well. I haven't really looked at any RPG uh, achievement sets after Chrono Triggers, which was a perfectly fine set. That game doesn't have anything super, super nasty, just grindy. A little bit. A little bit. I took a glance at FF6 and decided not to do it, <laughs> but... I might have looked at FF7 because I was um, thinking about doing it. I was thinking about doing 6. I ended up just playing the, uh, the remaster, checking it out instead. It was alright, I guess. Oh, here comes the cube. Two pieces late. Ah, I hit it the wrong way. I saw FF5 has a bunch of retro achievements that are like, name your character this so that we know what type of run you're doing. <laughs> and maybe it's like the honor system or something if you clear it, I'm not sure. Why didn't it work? What? It didn't turbo over there this time. All 
I must have hit the other button while it was doing it and it didn't like both directions at once, which the, the NES D-pad cannot do. So that makes sense, if that's what happened there. I divide by zero doing that shit, man. <laughs> Could be it if I could just hang on to this. We're gonna get sent into 19 soon, though, for like the last bit. It's gonna suck a lot, I think. No, I'm not actually. I'm wrong. It's gonna stay in 18 until I get a million lines cleared. It's not gonna. It's not gonna leave 18 until this is over. Actually, the way it's designed, it's just gonna stick with it. The bouncer. Hey. I've never seen that one before. What is that? For FF7, I'm gonna collect bad mods. See what I get. Buffer every move, what a pain in the ass. No. I guess you could do that. Let me try that real quick. That's really annoying and I wouldn't want to stream it, even if it did work. It's, I guess it would. Why would you why wouldn't you just change the achievement <laughs> if your recommendation is to make me blind from flashing? Alright, let's do another one. I don't really need turbo anymore. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I could clear it normally too, given luck. I don't need... I just need the field to be a little lower, and I can get it lower sometimes, just by pure random good pieces dropping for me in a row. Like, if I can just get, like, a nice... Tetris clear at the top and drop down four spaces, I'd probably be about where I need to be to win. And I almost had that once before I turned on turbo. Almost. There's just not enough space on 18 for me at that height. I think we're going to be playing through quite a bit of B-type here to finish these achievements. This is a lot of just, for no reason at all, individualized achievements. I feel like they should have given them all to me at once. We're just going to get lousier versions of the one I did already. If this is even one of them? No. There's a bug. Ice Climbers give me a lot more trouble than I, uh, care to admit. I'm really good at Ice Climbers now, though. 
Maybe uh, as good as anyone. <laughs> I did um, level 20 of Dr. Mario just the other day on medium. I don't think the speed really matters much, honestly. You either can get through the start or you're dead. I haven't done that game yet either. I will at some point do it. And crappy. <laughs> it's a really, really boring game. I, I liked it as a kid, I guess. And I think it has some ideas, but it's just so slow. No control. I try really hard to do cool moves, but they they restrict the hell out of this. Oops. Oh, good thing this is already over. We're just jamming Tetris for a while. Nice and easy. Victory's time. The Bouncer! Get to run down the line. These. See, I don't understand why I have to do individualized points, too. Come on. B type level 16, height 2. B type level 14, height 4. Level 12, height 5. That one might be hard. Well, let's just do the B-type ones, uh, gonna have level 3, height 2. I just gotta go through one by one. Knock these out. Each one of these is gonna be 25 lines. I'll tell we're gonna clear thousands. garbage. <laughs> it's just normal field now. I think that's silly though, like, if you can already do it, then just give me all of them, right? That's what I think. Five, height three. Like, obviously I don't need the training. <laughs> so, they should just give them all to me if I see them done. They're done. Then we got Pictionary to play. I've actually checked the achievements on that. Any nasty things in Pictionary? I probably shouldn't do that game without looking, huh? That's the one with some really weird minigames, and some of them might be gross. I'm assuming that it's even done. It's even on the list. It probably is.
I like being able to get all the achievements in one go. It gave me a ton of them when I did the good run, and then it just stopped. And apparently it didn't give me all the score runs. I don't know what the hell it was giving me then. But apparently, not those. I thought it was giving me those the whole time. has no set. That's crazy. Tim Fallen worked on it. See, I wrote down Pictionary just assuming it would have one. The Bouncer! You think you can handle my Pictionary set? I don't actually know how to make them. <laughs> Level 7 high 4. These will get less boring at least as we go on and faster. Level 7 is still kind of a snooze. Doesn't really influence the speed enough to bother me. I barely even notice it. It jumps really sharply at level 12 or so. There's a lot of height though. One bad mistake is probably the end of it. they have all those uh, other ones in the other mode is for these cutscenes that you can get, I guess. I don't know. 10 height 4. This one's a little bit out there because the height is harder than the speed. Nothing like that other one, though. <laughs> no pause buffering necessary. I will use turbo, though. Ungenuine. Dragonflies. 12 height 5. Oh, that's nasty. lost it there. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't see the stick in time. I don't really have time to plan for the actual piece coming up much. I don't like 
that. Ah, crap. I couldn't last forever. Almost had it on the first try, but... Too many Zs in a row. Nasty, nasty pieces. I don't know how to... I tried to learn before. Yeah, I know it's basic stuff, but looking for memory addresses and stuff. I just don't understand it. Never really got it in my head when I was trying to like unlock Isaac items and stuff. Cheat engine, even that is a lot over my head. Never really grasped. I'm sure I could learn if I really had the passion for it, but I don't. Yeah. I'm getting worse at this, but I think it's just a matter of getting the right pieces, honestly. crammed up against the wall here. Really? Come on! Stop it! Backwards. There's a big hole in the map here that I can take advantage of. It's great. Slipped. You could really light this up if you get it. The garbage's nice, but it's not nice this time. God, I can barely even move. I would say this is what you want to see. Something like this. Banked on a stick. What a mistake. Literally never gonna come. Okay. It would have been it would have been a win, I think. If it would have just come, it would have been enough to get me out of the situation, which is kinda why I did it. A little bit of a gamble, but it's such a good payoff. Because it would have been a nice clean dig downward all the way. None of this pieces in the way stuff would have happened. I couldn't use any of them. The bouncer. <laughs> Jeez, how big are those guys? Next up is 16 height 2. Is that harder? I'm not sure about that. I feel like it's not because I have turbo. And it would be if I didn't, but it's still nothing like that other one.
Oh, it didn't flip because it's too close to the wall. That's no good. Man. The tease. That was bad. I, I got worse and worse. It's, it's supposed to go down, not up the field. It's out of control. I almost had it on the first try, but it was a really bad attempt. Sweet. It actually worked. That's the end of this, probably. Oh, yeah. Back where we started from. I just need one more. I'm screwing up. next I think that's it for game B it looks like that is it for game B we're going back to a suspect there's going to be any challenge left in the game. I think we got them all. <laughs> I think we're in the casual mode Tetris now where we just get lines and win. So I feel like not doing it anymore. I'm not sure how many points I need or when I need to take death here. There you are. Peace over and over again every time. <laughs> every single time, it always is the wrong way. Stop it. It's the wrong way again. Now it's the wrong way again. I think it's rigged to be the wrong way. I should have been able to recover from that just fine, but man, they, they literally... Got me good with the whole the whole time. As soon as I started trying to fix it, it was always the backwards one. Every single one of those. Well, I need to just I just needed one more line to win the challenge. I think, unless I'm misreading it. That should have been so easy to recover. They just weren't letting me have it. Ugh. I 
Sicko stuff, man. There you are. It's so uncommon. I know I need some points, so I thought I'd go for Tetris's, but it sure sucks to do that. It's pretty much always a bad idea to go for Tetris's unless you're really into points. Like, wouldn't recommend it at 99 because it makes you vulnerable more than anything else. Sir. Better off to just get key spins and do them faster and you don't go five lines up to do it. Yeah, alone if you try to get two Tetris's, this is... Then you're practically dead already. <laughs> All you need to do is get jumped and you'll be taken out. I think the one it gave me is for getting to the next level, starting at level one. It's gonna be really grindy later, but I'll get it. It's gonna be a lot because of the, uh, the need to go from whatever number it is. Like that one says starting level four, past level. So now we need to get 50 lines to get that one to work or whatever. Trying to get to 30k, I guess. Might as well get one of those now. High level starting four? And for how many points? Four, six, eight, nine, and fifty K is the next one. Okay, we're gonna start here, we're gonna get fifty K and we're gonna get to level fifty. That's the goal. I really don't need to go for the points until I'm actually if he clears in. But whatever. It's a small amount of what I need here. I don't want to go too high on the points, maybe, actually, so probably should back off. wants to volunteer to help organize the forums for sound test and quadra. Quite a mess in there. There's a lot of content 
that I think is okay. I just need to go through it when I need content, honestly. Not try to collect all of it at once. There's a lot of Tetris left to achieve here because of how grindy these ones are. Grindy is the correct word because they're really slow. There's no threat of losing unless I screw around like I did that one time. shine on the blocks it is often done worse than this where it's really bland just that little three pixels of white makes such a big difference looks like a new grounds tetris if you don't do it right by which i mean a flash animation Now it's time to get the 50k points I was after. If you don't go for Tetris, you get nothing for points, it looks like. I kinda knew that. The bouncer. But it's pretty severe. You get nothing. <laughs> you get nothing at all. pieces in your Tetris game, right? Yeah, I'm using Turbo, um, save my hands a little bit. All this uh, running around left and right on this board. Probably just one or two Tetrises is all I need to get the points I'm after. I figured I might as well do those at the same time. Pretty close. One more will definitely do it. Start at level six. And, uh, 70,000 points. I haven't played very many Metroid games at all. I feel like I've only finished Super Metroid. I don't know anything about them. Thank you. 
Let's do this. Changed my mind. Cubes are great. I finished Destiny S Metroid at least once. I guess I'm not into the meandering explorational pace where there's not really anything harmful around. She's too strong. Uh, didn't like the bosses. I think everyone is on the page with that one. It was okay. More of a genre starter than a game I want to play on its own. I haven't played any of the other ones, really. points to go and I have many lines left. there for points. I need to just get lines now. I liked Environmental Station Alpha. Uh, I like modern Metroidvanias a lot, one of my favorite genres. The Castlevania addition to them usually is a selling point to me. Cause I don't like those games by themselves either. I'll make sure, but I'm pretty sure lines 70 and 70k is what I'm after here. Start on eight, a hundred thousand points. I haven't tried Axiom Verge yet. I haven't had uh, Time Spinner played yet. I got Animal Well. Somebody gifted me that. That's a new one to play. I never finished. Um, and what's that game called? The game with bam uh, bamboo bungalow bungalow <laughs> boogaloo bamboo boogaloo the messenger. I haven't finished that one yet either. Thank you. 
I promised a speedrunner I would play it. Time Spinner. So I intend to keep that promise. It's on my long list of games to play, though. points is a bit of a ways off still maybe I should eh I got time I think it's smarter to just grind the lines it's faster that way you can get the points in an instant it's not hard to get Tetris at any time forced to do it. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Lines. That's Tetris. Have you seen him? What an incredible. Oh, piss. I don't even remember where I started out here. Eight? <laughs> I gotta fix this. Still need 30,000 points. I don't know if it'll fail or not if I go over. It probably will. It probably does want me to score within the range. So one more Tetris and then a bunch of single lines is what I'm gonna be after here, and I'm nearly there. I think I need six more lines to win. The Bouncer! So that was so many points, I'm pushing it. The Bouncer! Okay, now level 9. With no point value, just get lines. I've already got that done. And it looks like there's a B mode level I missed, or it didn't count it for me. I gotta go back and check. Some random stage mix up. Almost done with Tetris. Thanks for joining me for casual chill time. It's been a while since I've done one of these retro treatments. I was gonna do. July's first gong show uh, today, but I'm not feeling up to it. I'm gonna probably do that Friday. 
And me and Maddie are looking at doing Fable 2. As soon as I get my, uh, Brothers 360. <laughs> Can we borrow that thing? I don't actually own one. He's got one for me. To use, and he's got Fable 2. He's got like three copies of it for some reason, so. Yeah. Big Fable fan. I've never played the second one. Or the third one. The third one looks really stupid. Looking forward to it. I'm just gonna wrap Tetris up here before I call it. But I probably cannot keep going too much longer. I can't leave Tetris undone. The third Fable game is really weird looking. It's some kind of Civ management game. The end of the world is nigh, and you care about taxes. I don't understand that part, but it's a bunch of choices and not fun looking stuff going on. I know they're remaking the first one. I saw that trailer. A lot of the same weird humor in it. I guess the first game was passable 7 out of 10. Super disappointing though. If you weren't old enough to be around in the 2004 era when that game was fresh, it was uh Talking itself up the way Oblivion actually achieved, except for Oblivion didn't uh, have very interesting dungeons. But that open-ended levelness was not there in Fable when they were pretending it was. Morrowind, honestly, was what Fable wanted to be, but... Fable's not a very... Fable is nowhere near that clunky. It's like an actual action game. I like the combat in it. It's just, man, it did not deliver on anything else. Especially plot, what the... <laughs> you, you spend a lot of your time in Fable feeding chickens to doors and stuff, just trying to get them to open up and you can get some loot and it's not very interesting loot. How to get your multiplier even higher. There were some interesting mechanics that weren't done right in Fable 2, like the age mechanic. Before too long, your character turns into an old man, like almost guaranteed ancient before a couple hours go by. And I had a big scar on my dude's face one time. I guess somebody hit me in some way that it tracked forever, which is kind of cool. But I don't know where or when it came from. That wasn't very clear. The story is so dumb. In Fable. The whole thing with Whisper and killing her or not, and then the, uh, the Lady Grey quest, and the, the bad guy in the arena, and all that stuff. Getting sent to prison for a while, and the Heroes Guild is like, hey, welcome back, <laughs> when you come back from like, a year of torture. Nobody goes looking for you. Such a strange mess of a game. And then the, the fake choices. Bouncer. Like you can you can kill Twin Blade the, the bandit or not. If you do, the bandits want revenge. Okay. I guess that makes sense. If you don't, the bandits want revenge because he's been insulted. Either way, they really want that non choice to happen.
You just use that emote. Yeah, that's the emote. What a good emote. Fable fans will know. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this 14 and 4. I don't know if I did that one yet. That sounds a little tricky, but I've done worse. This is dead. I haven't actually seen Fable 2 at all. I heard it was a good game, but Maddie was telling me that I'm wrong earlier. <laughs> so, I know you have a dog and you can dig with it, and my brother was super into that mechanic. Apparently it's not a good mechanic. He liked it though. One of the most annoying things in Fable 1 that I thought I was shattering the economy with is breaking into houses and stealing their stuff. And I just would loot everything, I would sit there and loot it all. And when I would go to sell it, it turns out you can only have one of each item or something, something silly like that. So I wasn't actually taking anything, because I already had that stuff. That might just be weapons or whatever, I'm not sure. <laughs> but why? Ooh, this is a really easy map this time. I'm trying to screw it up. Thank you. Appreciate the subs, everybody. I need to probably look at a sub-motivated stream at some point. Maybe when I do one of the uh, goals that I'm due to do. We'll be starting that big suffer soon, I think. I didn't do that one actually. Gotta get the pterodactyls, man. I'll never forget uh, Fable 1, my first playthrough. I grinded on the guards in the starting area and I was like pure evil. I was smoking red. I had horns. They were really silly looking, but horns. My dude was like 20. <laughs> But he, so he looked like a young imp monster of some kind, like a real devil. And he went to town for the first time, and Briar Rose, that hero, was there. She did something, and she made fun of him, and he looked at the ground and kicked the dirt sadly, and he was this big devil man emanating evil in the cutscene. We need to do five lines on game type A without turning any piece. That shouldn't be impossible, but it is pretty random. There's two. Honestly, this isn't that bad. Obviously, it's going to have a limit and RNG is going to play a factor, but not as much of a factor as you would think. I can work with most of what I get here. These pieces are not turned the correct way, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna get this in the first try. I thought maybe it would be tough, but... The bouncer. Tetris is done. How many can I get total? Let's see. To do with that. Jeez. It's all turned wrong. <laughs> Heck. 
Really? Why are they all long ways? Ugh. Okay, only six. You're right. It should be an arcade pit challenge. See, this wasn't, uh... Wasn't a bad idea. We got an arcade pit challenge out of it. Hell yeah. I'm putting it in right now. I think that you can guarantee five if you play right. Like I could have done better there, honestly. There was there was a solution to probably get eight or nine, maybe more there. I think you can always get five if you do it right. I'm gonna give him two attempts. To just get five, no spinning. hard is this? Probably reasonably hard. I want to make it a team battle as well. That sounds funny. And test your smite. I feel like, I mean, they're allowed to have two attempts. I feel like the odds of it not being, I'll, I'll do it a couple times here, but just to make sure, but I feel like astronomically unlikely that they won't be able to do it in two attempts, like for real. Like that just seems super free. I think that this is actually an easier challenge, but I might be a fool. There's only one here if I do it this way. I hate to take that gamble. I don't think that I'll ever be able to rotate into the hole there. Maybe I should put a hint that the pieces are always horizontal and that's bad. Like you don't want that, what I did. That's one of the mistakes I'm making, I think, yeah. I guess I never realized that they never in this game are vertical, ever, ever. They're just never vertical. So that means um, I've screwed up some of these forever. I don't know how I never noticed that before. I guess I just instinctively rotate them without even thinking about it. Ah, so close. I'm not gonna make it. If it, the, the piece that was right there was in the other direction, I would have been fine. The piece that killed me would have saved it. Okay, well, I have a strategy now. Knowing what I know. I need that piece. Yeah, there it is.
Where's the cube? Yeah, I got it. Easy. I think since I failed it once, maybe difficulty four is correct. I think you'll have to have a, some kind of a mind for Tetris, just a little bit to do this, I guess. I don't, it's not so bad. I'm feeling like I'm capping out at seven or eight on most of these runs though. I know I can do better practice, but they're not going to get the chance to practice. Well, I was going to do Pictionary, but apparently no one's bothered. Why don't we just play Pictionary real quick? Originally, I had a concept for what art game to use on, uh, like, Jabba Genesis or Jawboyge Dictionary here as a mode. I don't know what alternate mode is. Is that just you don't play the minigames? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you can draw in this with your awful Etch-a-Sketch. I'm trying to draw a heart right now. Yeah, actually, I'm trying to draw a slingshot. I nailed it. Yeah, anyway, this is the hardest thing on Earth to draw with. This is the worst drawing tool I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's an Etch-a-Sketch with uh, I don't know how many angles. 16 angles. And you can move it without drawing, or you can draw with it if you want. It is impossible to draw. And even the circles don't look right. Nothing is good here. It is the worst drawing app I could think of. And it was too mean. Also, yeah, there is a time limit for some reason. I don't know how long that is. Probably a minute. It's the worst. This was, t even for me, too mean to use. Even on the snails or wheel. I couldn't figure out... <laughs> what to do with this mess. I don't think there's a human alive that can draw well with that. This game's a bunch of mini games. None of them really are good. Well, I guess two of them are. One of them is Space Invaders. And the Fireman game is pretty choice. This one's stupid as hell. <laughs> this one sucks real bad. If you dare to try what I did at the start and try to do like four or five boxes or more, you're not gonna win. You have to do this just over and over again. Just back and forth, two or three. If you can do two, good. Sometimes you can't even do two. Based on the timing of things. It's not worth waiting on the germs or whatever the hell those are. Three is the most you should ever go for and you'll clear this. If you get hit, you lose a truckload of time. Absolute abysmal amount of time. So the goal is definitely to just keep it up and don't stop, but also don't ever get hit. That's top priority. Really close risk there. What the hell is this painting, though? Is that supposed to be a jack-o'-lantern? <laughs> Is that an onion? Is that the guy who teaches Parappa to rap out of fight?
Those shoes are so well animated. None of these squares mean anything. I don't think they affect the minigame you get. Oh, come on. <laughs> Pretty sure the minigame you get is based on time. Like, randomly. The best you can do is get the whole picture. As long as you achieve that, there's no more you can do. <laughs> Sometimes you need it for this icicle here. Me a new mini game, or I'm gonna do force you to give me a new mini game. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Alrighty. Fine. Stop it. I have to turn retro achievements off to rewind, so we're stuck with it. I'm gonna force it this way. If I just won't play it, maybe they'll take mercy on me here. There are like eight mini games in this stupid thing. We don't need the germs thing. <laughs> I promise there's other ones. Maybe I'm stuck on it on the square after all. Okay, fine. I'm playing it again. This is some kind of broken horseshoe. Badly drawn magnet. The letter U. What the hell is this supposed to be? <laughs> I hate the germs, man. What the fuck? It's gotta be this, right? Drunk ass picture, man. I know what they drew it with, though, so I can't blame them. I saw it myself. The tool can be blamed this time. waiting to hope to spin, spin here on G-Wheel, please. No more box game. You have Space Invaders and Fireman game and Orb Collection. Come on. Fuck! That was a good stream, everybody. I'll see you later. I'm going to start the blues. Have a good one.